I'm gonna show you how to back up your camera settings. Welcome to Fast Friday. Hi everyone and welcome to pal to tech One of the great features about the Fujifilm camera system is the ability to modify and to customize all of the various camera settings, custom buttons, dials, and so forth. It's also important to know how to back up those settings should you ever need to restore them. Luckily, Fujifilm makes a little software app that allows you to quickly and easily back up your camera settings as well as allow you to restore them at a few your date. They have it available for both Mac and Windows. You'll know you have it installed correctly because on the Mac you'll see it right here. These are grayed out because you don't have your camera connected yet. On Windows it'll be located in the lower right corner next to the clock. You need to make one setting change to the camera in order for this to work. Go into your menu, under Save Data Setup, on the second screen, Connection Mode, change this to USB raw convert backup restore. You see that there? Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is connect your camera to your computer using a USB cable. On the X-T3 and X-T4, I'm using a USB-C and plugging it right in just like this. Once your camera is connected, take a look at your computer and you will see that the icon now is sort of flashing and in color and showing that it's connected. And if you click on it, now you can access the backup and restore camera settings options. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on on backup camera settings and I'm just gonna call this one pal to tech stills okay so let's test this thing out and actually see if it works on my X-T3 I like to have a my menu right here with my custom settings for everything that I would need so I'm now gonna completely erase the settings on this camera and put it back to a reset so I'm gonna go into the little wrench user setting reset and I'm just gonna do setup reset. We're gonna completely wipe out all of the settings on this camera. So I'm back here. Okay, looks like the menus have been reset. Look at the my menu is completely grayed out. Do you see that there? So let's see if I can restore it. And I am now going to go into the Fuji X Acquire where it says restore camera settings. And here I'm going to choose that file that I had saved earlier. I, I guess it took. There's no dialog box that pops up and says, you know, finished or done or we're restoring your camera. Nothing. Yeah. And that's the difference. You know, I mean, I love Fujifilm, but their software needs some improvement in usability. That's for sure. I guess it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up now. Let's see if any... Oh, look at that. Have a look at this. There it is. There's my menu. All of the settings exactly where they should be. Okay. There's a couple of things you need to know about this. First of all, as you can see, the software is a little clunky. It doesn't give you a dialog box or any kind of indication that it's finished. So just to be on the safe side, you don't want to be disconnecting your camera in the middle of a restore. So I would wait up to 30 seconds before you disconnect the camera from your computer after you begin a restore. According to Fujifilm, all of the settings on your Fujifilm camera except for these three can be restored. Once you're done restoring, don't forget to go back into your camera menu into save data setup and change your connection mode back to USB card reader. Before the sun sets today, I recommend that you grab a copy of the free Fujifilm X Acquire software and make a backup of your camera. It only takes a few minutes and then you've got it. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please give it the like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care.